Today, today we got a story about Driver's Ed. Thank you. Um, this coming Monday. Got a story about a fun fundraiser for wrestling. All right, guys. Wrap and we have a little bracketology for you guys. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Mason. And I'm Emery, and this is your daily news. Afterglow tickets will be on sale before school and during lunch the week of April 1st through April 5th. Those interested in traveling to Spain in June 2020 should sign up outside of W20 by Friday. This trip is open to current freshmen through seniors. Rochester Cemetery is looking for part-time employees. You must be 18 years old to apply. Starting pay is $12.50 an hour. See Mr. Alexander for more information. Legally Blonde Musical is performing this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Tickets are $8 and the show starts at 7 p.m. I caught up with Mr. Tinsley about Driver's Ed. Let's see what he had to say. Hey Vikes, the Driver's Ed enrollment is coming up soon. Here's Mr. Tinsley with more. Thank you. Um, this coming Monday, April 1st, we will start our online enrollment for Driver's Education and that will be for three weeks in June, beginning June 3rd. Uh, the cost is $175 for Driver's Ed. You do not need a learner's permit to take it. It is open and available to any Seaman High School student. Um, you can see me if you have any questions, but you enroll online on the high school webpage starting this Monday and that will last for an entire month, so make sure you get on that. All right, thanks Mr. Tinsley. Now back to your anchors. Make sure you sign up on Monday for Driver's Ed. Break a Legs for the music will be musical will be sold during lunch Tuesday through Friday and before the show. Individual messages are one dollar and the whole cast slash crew messages are five dollars. See Miss Murphy and W7 for more information. Juniors who are trying to graduate early in December 2019, your letters are due to Mr. Alexander by Thursday, March 28th, which is tomorrow. The first student organized career fair is on April 21st during seminar. This is not an opt-out event. Tickets to assist in navigating students to the correct location go on sale for seniors April 3rd, juniors April 4th, and sophomores April 17th. If you plan to bring a non-SHS student to prom or a 9th or 10th grader enrolled here, you need to have an outside date form completed. They're due back by April 9th. All right, folks, we got Kyle with us to inform us about a fundraiser for wrestling. The wrestling team is planning on going to Iowa next year for a tournament. We have a need to, uh, to raise some funds to uh, attend a tournament in Iowa next semester, or ne excuse me, next season, um, where we're going go, uh, to go uh, to northern Iowa and uh, compete in this tournament. It's kind of a special thing. My, uh, my high school coach, Al DeLeon, a Hall of Fame coach in, in, in Iowa, he's won three state titles and, and several runner-up finishes, and, and um, himself as a competitor was, was uh, you know, a, a nationally known competitor and towards the end of his career uh, he developed uh, Parkinson's disease which uh, he's been battling for the last 20 years or so and um, he's wheelchair bound now and um, I still keep in, in pretty good touch with him but I just really to, to honor him and at the same time um, give our guys a, a good tournament um, and a good time in the season to see some different competition um, right before Christmas there. In order for the team to travel to Iowa next year, they are doing a fundraiser. And um, again, we need some funds for that, so we thought we would uh, make some shirts up and, um, and, uh, and sell them. And these are not any type of wrestling shirts. These are shirts with Mr. Elliott running with the Bulls. Um, I've always wanted to go to Europe, and I thought if I'm going to Europe, might as well do something that not very many people have done. So I've always heard about running with the Bulls, and a lot of people say they want to do stuff, but they never get around to it. And I never want to look back and say I didn't do something. So if you want to support the wrestling team, go out and buy yourself one at lunch all the way through April. They are $15. Dude, those are sweet. I might have to snag a spare shirt. If you want to speak at graduation, you will need to submit your speech to Mrs. Welch by Monday, April 15th for to review. Any students interested in being a spirit club officer next year need to pick up an application from Mrs. Geis. Applications are due April 10th. Now over to Mason with sports. Let's take the witness into custody where she will be charged for the murder of Hayworth Wyndham. In the matter of the state versus Brooke Wyndham, this case is dismissed. Mrs. Wyndham, you're free to go. 
Everyone's seen Legally Blonde the movie, but now you can see it live at your Seaman High School theater. The theater department has been working hard to get the musical ready. Legally Blonde the musical will be playing at 7 p.m. from March 28th to March 30th. Tickets will be sold at the doors and lunch for $8. International Thespian Society is selling curtain cult messages all next week during lunches. It's only $1 for you to wish your friend on the cast or crew good luck. For $5, you can make a message for the whole cast. The musical is March 28th through the 30th. Don't forget to tell your favorite cast members to break a leg with one of these messages. Varsity Soccer lost to Carey Prairieville, but not to worry, we, we play at Leavenworth tonight. And the Soccer Spirit Night is next Tuesday, April 2nd. During the games, there will be free pizza and drawings for free nachos. This is also the last week to purchase softball apparel. There will also be a volleyball informational parent meeting on April 11th in the Commons at 6. Saturday, April 27th, there is a clinic for auxiliary band dance team that runs from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then tryouts start at 1. And last night, JV Baseball Sweat Manhattan, baby. JV Track also has a meet tonight at Shawnee Heights. All right, Ike is going to join me real quick for a little chat about the tournament. All right, guys, round 32 is over, and our brackets have suffered the consequences. Tell me about it. I know, dude, but we found out who's leading in our bracket challenge, and Chase Morstoff is in first place. I caught up with him to talk about his strategy. Hey, Vikes, I'm here with Chase, and uh, he's going to talk to us about how he picked his bracket. So, uh... How'd you pick your teams, Chase? Um, you see, it was very strategic. I, uh, I first looked at the regular season and how they performed and just went off that. Even though I put Villanova in the Final Four, you know, we had to have a Cinderella team and they didn't fall through for me, so. Mm. Well, that's tragic. Um, so who do you think's gonna win the whole tournament, Chase? Well, obviously Duke, but if they play like they played last game, I don't know. Well, just gonna have to wait and see. All right, let's talk about some upsets and near upsets. Murray State smacked Marquette. Dude, did you? Oh, do you remember when John Morant? Ah, he went for the career oh, ender yeah. against that guy. Oh, he he just double handed it. He destroyed that young fella. It was just disgusting. <laughs> that was so cool. All right. Uh, we also had uh, Duke UCF. That game kind of scared a lot of people. I bet. Uh, yeah, it scared me. I got Duke in the championship. Actually, I got them winning the whole thing. Oh, I, I when I when I was watching the game and they tipped it in right at the last, I thought that that was in, and I thought it was oh, over yeah. for Duke. Oh, yeah. I thought it was done. Yeah. Well, I guess we also had both Kansas teams kind of lose, so that that's just not that's just not too fun. Yeah, but but eh, it's a tournament, so what are you gonna do? Also, if you're in the bracket challenge with a username that isn't your legal name, come confirm with me so you're eligible to receive a gift card. All right, now let's go see about that snow on Friday with Josh. Good afternoon to you today. Going to be a very warm and windy Wednesday. Check this out. If we do get to my forecast high of 73 degrees, it'd be our warmest day since October 22nd of 2018. That's how long it's been since it's been this warm. Now, today going to be dry, but tomorrow we do introduce a rain chance. So the morning hours here, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, looking mostly dry. But as we progress throughout the morning, chances start to increase from southwest to northeast across the area. And rain will likely occur at some point tomorrow, whether it be in the form of showers or thunderstorms. This will continue on and off through the afternoon and evening hours. And then checking out the seven day forecast, more rain is on the way for Friday. Could be again in the form of some thunderstorms. So 73 degrees today. We do fall back into the 60s for Thursday, 50s for Friday, then 40s for highs Saturday and Sunday. There is still a slight chance for snow early Saturday morning. Now back to your anchors. That's it for today, Vikes. Tomorrow we have a story over the Greece trip and an interview with Joe Cromie. We're all out of news, guys. Have a swell day.